Right, welcome back. I'm um, blinding myself with a flash because it's November and there's not much sun coming through the window. Um, it's been about just over a month since I did the X-Wing and now it's next model time. Um, I picked up this model from la this time last year from the model fair in Telford and um, it was an absolute bargain at £10 because the reason it cost £10 is because I bought it from the same tabletop seller that I bought the two Munster kits from, you know, the Munster House and the Huma Munster. So he did me a deal. So here's the next uh, kit. As you can see, it is the 172 RL, RNLI 7 Class Lifeboat from Airfix. The box ain't too much to write out about, and as you can see, it says £20 there. So going over to the sprues, on top of my chest phaser, you can see there's four main sprues. Quite big sprues actually, as you can see, compared to my hand. Detail's pretty crisp, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then you get a clear sprue as well. I mean, you've got the two sides of the hull there. Um, there's a roof panel and there's the roof panel you get the um, top of the main deck and then you get the bottom of the hall and the two sides of the hall there and various other bits as you can see going over to my chair you can see that the instructions are fairly straightforward as you can see not too bad um, then you've got the decals now you can build this to the various lifeboat stations around the UK and you get all the uh, numbers, you can see there's about two or three of the same ones, especially on the white. Now, I spoke to a guy at the fair who'd actually built one of these up, he had it on his uh, display table for his club. He told me to use Halford's brilliant VW Orange for the, the um, orange, but he, he, he told me he wished he'd alighted the kit because once it, cause he detailed all the inside, but once the two sides and the roof go on and the front, you can't see inside the cabin. So, I'm going to be losing my lighting virginity. As you can see, I bought two 3mm LEDs, warm white, with built-in resistors into the wire. And then I bought a 9 volt battery pack with an on-off switch, as you can hear. And that little lot cost me $12 from um, um, a train model website in America that I was recommended on Brit Modeler. So that's about £9. Not too bad at all. It's somewhat cheap for a beginner like me. So I'm going to be using that little lighting cut to kit to uh, light up the cabin. Hopefully it'll go really well because I've got a soldering iron. I picked one up from Lidl's. Um, a few months ago for seven ninety nine, it's proper proper kit. Uh, you get all the soldering iron and you get the temperature control and everything. Absolutely fantastic. So it's now time to get cracking on with the kit. Stay with me. Right, starting work on the lifeboat. Um, basically, the hull assembly. Um, as you can see, it's all done there. Basically you've got the bottom part, the keel, whatever you want to call it, you've got the two sides of the hull and then you've got the back and then you've got the little bay thruster assembly which is that. If I just angle it slightly you can just make out the, th the fans, you've got one on the one side and the one on the other. Um, trying to get the actual sides of the hull to stick to the bottom was quite difficult. So that's why I've had to use the tape and you can see just below my thumb there there's a gap that needs filling all the way around the side and on the other side as well you can see so I'm going to have to get the filler for that also um, what I've done as well is I've put some glue on the inside as well on the outside just to, give, just to strengthen it a bit I've gone all the way around and on the back plate as well but uh, all I've got to do now is just put the bits on the bottom so the hull is pretty much done stay with me right um, welcome back 
As you can see, I've uh, put the furnace into those gaps that went all the way down the side of the hull. I've also sanded them down as well, and they've come out really well. And on the other side, as you can see, not too bad at all. Um, I've also done a bit of construction on the bottom. I've put the propellers and their shafts on, and the rudders. Um, what I probably should have done was uh, painted all this first, then put those on after. And then I've done the back as well. Um, I filled that gap in, sanded that down, and then I put these armatures on with those supports and whatever the hell those are. Again, I probably should have left those off until I painted. But, you know, it's going to be a... I'd say it will be a bit of a pain in the arse getting around all that, but uh, this is now ready for primer. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. As you can see, the hull is now primed, but you can also see white as well. So what I did is I just primed it with my normal primer, let that dry, and then masked off some areas, as you can see, and then spray painted in the white. Because um, there's a guy on Brit Modeler called uh, Big Dave. He's building uh, the lifeboat at the same time as me. And he was told wherever there's um, a light decal or a light colour, light red or yellow or the orange, um, it's best to put a white base coat down first because it will show better because apparently the decals are quite transparent. So that's what I've done. You can see just under that lip there, that's all white. And that section there, all the way down that line, that's going to be um, a two-tone decal. It's a, a yellow and a red. That's one decal. So I'll put the white back on. And then for the underneath, that's going to be all red. Um, in past builds where I've actually painted red, I've painted on top of primer and it's gone purple. So I'm going to paint the red on top of the uh, white. You can also see around the back there, I've also um, put the white bottom on there to go with the, the ones on the side as well. And underneath that lip there, that's where that um, yellow and red striped decal is going to go. So I've put the white there as well. But uh, I'm now going to start painting the hull. Stay with me. Okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see, the hull is now complete barring decals so basically when I left you um, I'd primed the hull I'd um, sprayed some white on because I've got to have a lighter surface for the decals to go on under this uh, top lip here so basically what I did is I put um, a bit of thin masking tape edging tape around the top lip just under the top lip there all the way around and then for the um, line between the midnight blue and the red, again I'll put another bit of uh, strip masking tape all the way around and on the back. And then started to paint on the red. Using the number 19 acrylic um, by hand, you can see that it's not a perfect job. I probably should have bought a can of spray paint for this and did it just the once. But what it is, I will be putting this onto a sea base, so to be honest, I probably didn't need to do as much effort as I did because most of this is not going to be visible. It's only going to be that section there right up to the line that's going to be fairly visible. So I'll put my five uh, coats of red on. Once that dry, I then painted the silver on the propellers. Again, you're not going to see them with the sea base. Um, once that was done, I then went with the 36154 Night Blue Revel and then painted that on for the top part of the hull took me two coats as you can see once that dry I then took that bit of uh, tape off for the white to expose that line and it turned out absolutely wonderful there was hardly any paint bleed at all I only had to top up here and there I also took the back line off as well um, then what I did is um, leaving that uh, bit of masking tape on there I then proceeded to paint that section with a midnight blue once that dried and then painting the actual upper lip upper edge there in the black as you can see I've gone all the way around 
and on the back as well leaving that uh, bit of tape on as well once that dried I then took the tape off that and much like the line for the red it actually turned out really nice but the only problem there wasn't really wasn't say much of a problem but um, when I took the tape off there was still a bit of primer showing so in my Citadel fine detailing brush I just went up to the line where, where the primer is still showing and just pat top that up with a midnight blue but as you can see the hull barring decals is done stay with me right now the hull's done I've now started work on the deck so basically I started with a primer so I primed it all over and then once that was dry I went with the 36157 um, grey see um, grey matte which is what I painted the Spitfire in and then just went a good you know a couple of coats on there um, once that dry I then started to put bits on um, I put this little assembly on first you got the um, porthole uh, door and the actual hatch assembly I haven't put the uh, clear piece of glass in yet I've got to put that in from the inside um, put that piece of wall in, put that piece of wall in, painted those in light grey um, once those were dry I then started um, putting the seat assemblies in, I primed the um, sprues and then put the little seat um, mounting poles on there, what the seats are going on and then painted the seats in black and I've mounted all the seats um, then once that was done I then uh, went with this little bench here um, light grey for the underneath the wall and then black for the um, seat itself so that's gone on um, this little I don't know some kind of utility box um, I've painted the bottom in orange I've still got to paint that top bit there and then I've with the seats I've put the foot rests in as well the little uh, blob of plasticine there blue tack is holding that up while it's glues drying and then the one on the other side as well and then I've put these handrails in so they're in and then also I've painted the little fire extinguishers those are actually mounted into the side walls so I've painted those in white first and then red on top of that also I've painted the dashboard um, in the black I've left the screens in the primer because I've printed off a couple of um, screens like radar screens and GPS screens and that so I've got to put them on yet and I've also done one of the side walls um, I've left it in the primer grey and then I'm just going to put them in white because then I've got to be painting in orange I'm going to do that by hand and then that side wall will fit in there like that and then when the other side walls in the actual dashboard will actually attach to those to go in but definite progress is being made on the lifeboat stay with me Right, welcome back just a quick update for you you can see that I've put the walls in now onto the deck both sides um, painting those little inners with the orange took about two coats I've also got the actual cage roof on there I had to pinch them so I put, put, put a drop of super glue on just to get that instant bind and then reinforced it with some model glue and then let the, put, let, put the tape on left it overnight to dry but that one decided to pop out so I've glued that one back in using my clamp and then using the paint bottle and a bit of sponge to support it now not only am I going to light this kit I'm going to put crew figures on it these little guys are 172 NATO pilots from Revel cost me uh, £7.70 now the one thing I like about these is the actual those things there around the neck and the body those can act as life vests here's the sprue as you can see you get 28 figures all told and you get like four of it four or five various options standing sitting in the various poses so I've uh, painted the suit in the yellow the little things that I'll act as the life vests in red um, the knee the knee pads are silver so I studied some photos of the actual um, the lifeboat crews I've also put painted little strapping on the back for there so these guys are ready to be mounted into the um, interior. I'm going to put two on the interior and then I'm going to put five on the deck. But uh, definite progress is being made. Stay with me.